My family has owned an automobile business since uh, the 1950s. And uh, basically my grandfather came back from World War II and they, they were teaching, uh, they had like little six week courses. So what are you interested in? I'm interested in accounting. Okay, you go over here and you get a certificate and then you can get a job. And they're just trying to get GIs employed after the war. So he took an accounting course and he started a set of books for this. Uh, dealership is really not the right word. I mean, it was like the size of this room. Yeah. And they had like 10 cars out on the lot. It was a used you know, thing or whatever. Pontiacs, I think. And, um, so he just, that, that guy was retiring and kind of sold the business for next to nothing to my grandfather. And uh, my dad works there. My uncle worked there. My sister works there. My her husband works there. Uh, it was very much a family business. And it's a small little uh, mom and pop operation. But, uh, you know, I, I was named the third after my grandfather. So and my grandmother used to say, like, um, when we'd be at the dealership at, at my grandfather's desk, she would say, well, that'll be your chair one day, you know. So I just grew up thinking this is what I was going to do. And... Uh, when I found the guitar, everything changed. And so my dad and I were driving down the road one day, and I think I was 16 at this point. And it was like the existential crisis of my entire life. How do I tell my parents that I don't want to be in the family business? Mm-hmm. And uh, it got to that point where it was like, I couldn't take, you know, I, I don't even know, we weren't, I don't remember what we were doing, but it was like, I had to tell them then. And, I couldn't wait any longer, and I was like, Dad. And he's like, yeah. And uh, I said, what if I don't want to be in the car business? And he pulled the car over to the side of the road, put it in park, and he looked at me, and he goes, son, I know, I've known since you were born that you weren't going to be in the car business. And I was just, you know, it was like this really sweet moment. And then about five seconds later, he goes, put Plus, you'd be terrible at it. <laughs> so, I was like, why can't we just have this moment for just a second? Uh, 